Damian Woods Richardson. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's Leading more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he and it gets by him. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. Win gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Up and in. And now it's even one, one and one. Kicks and fires. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. And it hits the fence. Around third. Relay throw. He'll score. The Cardinals have the lead. One nothing. Back to back base hits. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Wilson Contreras now oh, up to the plate. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Ball to strike. The pitch. And that one hammered. That's back there. Back gone. And they boost their lead. It's 3-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. Brendan Donovan next up for the Cardinals. Ball one, one, no strikes. Bounce to the right side. Into the outfield base hit. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. There's a swing and a drive. And that gets down into the gap. Around third. He'll score, and they lead by four. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Lars Newtbar digs in now. That one ripped. That's back there. That one is gone. He'll touch them all. It's their second home run of the inning. It's six nothing. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Simeon Bailey over into the game. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Right-handed reliever. That's Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Good no catch ball. right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. That's Off the, the mark there. One and two to count. One, two. A good take. One and two here. Ball two. The big six spot already on the board this inning, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Full count. Foul 
foul ball, and it remains a full count. And he deals. Ground ball right side. He'll do it himself. Out. One out in the top of the first. Here's a Cardinals lineup now. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, oh, hit according one. to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. One down, base is empty. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. That one back. And gone! Into the second deck it goes. Their third home run of the inning. It's 7-0. Two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Number 11 in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Next offering is fouled back. Still only one out here in the inning. Comebacker to the mound. Throws to first. Out. And there are two outs. The batter. Back to the top the of the lineup ball. and stepping Mason. in for the Cardinals, Mason Win. Wynn. And a liner out into right center for a base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against the a batter. firm front side the and the hands Allen. just continue to carry Burlington. through the middle of the field. And here's the first baseman, Alec Burleson. In the air, out towards left center. And that is that. And we're back. And today's starting pitcher, Eric Fetty. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Really? Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to yeah, say no. that he too can't low. pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as no. at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Trevor Larnick. In for a strike. It's 0 1. That one pushed foul. To the right side. And he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. One out, base is empty. To the right side, Donovan. The throw to first. Out. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. Royce He's Lewis right. in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next Royce. offering is in for a strike. Two out spaces empty. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Twins are set. Top of the second, yeah, and up to hit ball. is Wilson the Contreras. The right-hander back to work. Oh. Out in front with the swing, and that is no strike ball. one. What Contreras, strike? in his eighth season, 31 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. 
That one hit to right. Pulls it in for the out. Now batting. The second baseman. Brendan now here is Donovan. Brendan Donovan. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Lewis moving under it. Out number two. Now batting. The designated hitter. Two Nolan outs, bases empty. Arenado. Nolan Arenado. Next up for the Cardinals. Breaking ball, ball inside. And it's one, one to ball. no. No Third ball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. Ground ball, left side. Miranda. And that is that. Redbirds down quietly. And they hold a 7-0 lead. second and here is Matt Walmer and first offering is fouled off the wine of the pitch three sets three. him down on strikes called strike three and a fastball up in the zone Matty, and now it's the That's switch hitter, the hitter Carlos Santana Right through there for a strike. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. The punch ah! out there. That's out number two. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right Bro, now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak Bro. going. Jose Miranda, the next to hit, takes ball one. Foul ball there. On the ground to first. He takes it himself he's to the out. bag, and that'll do it. Back in Minnesota, new inning getting started. Now up for St. Louis, Lars Newtbar. That misses. Ball one. Some movement in the Twins bullpen. Trevor Richards warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Alcala getting cranked up as well. Comes up empty as he chases one that ball. one in the dirt. One strike. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Everything came together for him. That ball was drilled. 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. So, man aboard. Now it's Matt Carpenter. He's been a great free agent side. Foul ball. And it's second. 1-1. One, one. And he can't make the play. Now that let you. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Here's Tommy Pham. Newt Bar, the runner at third. Carpenter on at first with nobody out. That's a base hit, run scores. Comes through with the arc. Trevor Richards now, gets the ball now. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout Trevor. guy. He tries to force weak Trevor. contact, so command and execution are huge for him. Number 11 now at the plate as he swings through strike one. That 
one the other way. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. So the batting order turns over. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. And first offering is fouled off. Traffic on the bases with one already in. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That one out to right. Walner pulls it down, and there's two gone. So first and second with two outs. Alec Burleson, the next to hit, one for two. And Whoa. that's outside, and that is ball one. There's a swing and a miss. Benny really sells One the changeup with that strike. arm action. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Ball. And another ball. Adam out front for the strikeout. They get a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Edouard Julien leading things off and takes a strike. There's a strike. Swings and misses. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Christian ah. Vasquez, batting with one down, no takes a strike. Right. Just no. missed. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Fires over to That's first. Out. And Vasquez is gone. Two outs, base is empty. At the play, Austin Martin. Fastball for a strike. 0 1 1. Swings through that one for strike two. The Twins with a lot of ground to make up here in the last half of the third. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. He's got it. And that is out number three. Back at target field, John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Wilson Contreras. Richards back to work. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. That ball. one's upstairs, ball one. And it's one, one and one. one. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. The one, two. Liner and, oh, that got him. Not in time. He's safe. Well, that ball came back and got him pretty good in the chest as the catcher checks on him. Looks like he might be okay, though, Chris. Yeah, I'm sure that stunned him more than anything, Boog. Always scary when we see comebackers like that, but I think it might just turn into a big, nasty bruise. Brendan Donovan now at the plate. In the air, left field, down the line. Makes the catch. Runner tagging for first. Now he changes his mind and heads back to first without a throw. Man at first, and up next for St. Louis, Nolan Arenado. Ball. Outside. One ball, no Contreras shot. over at first with one away. Yep. Swing and a miss. And a count one, one and one. One strike. The pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, 
they didn't want to go after him with the fastball at all in that at bat. Nothing but off speed now stuff. Batting. Even with all the changeups coming, somehow he was still early on the swing. So I think he had to be thinking it was only a matter of time until he saw some heat. Puts it in the air out towards left center on the move. Makes the play and it's out number three. So one left for the Cardinals as it remains an eight nothing game. Bottom of the inning and now the shortstop Willie Castro. Not shortstop. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. Swings and misses. Strike one. This one lifted in the air, left field. Coming on is Pham to make the play, and there's one down. Now, Trevor Larnick. And a foul ball. The Twins, with a lot of ground to make up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Left field, on the move. Nice grab on the run. And a couple of quick outs. And that one pulled foul. No. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And the count is one and one. The wind of the pitch. Up the middle, Donovan. Tosses the first. Out. What a play. Inning over. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the third baseman, Matt Carpenter. Here comes a pitch. That one fouled off. You know, these Cardinals, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits in the game. Oh, and that deflects off his glove. And they get out. the out after the ricochet. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Tommy Pham. He's already homered here in this one. Out to center. Lewis puts it away, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And now the center fielder, outfield playing pretty shallow. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Sizes this one up, brings it in, and that is that. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now Matt Walmer. Ball and one. takes low for ball one. Well, these twins, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. We're in the back half Wait. of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt, but it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. And as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at-bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. To first, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Next is the DH, a switch hitter, Carlos Santana. First no, offering, and it just misses. Bottom oh. of the zone and a called strike. Up the middle, Donovan. Sends it to first. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. The Twins down to their final out. So up next for Minnesota, Jose Miranda. And that's in there at the knees. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. A swing and a soft liner. And it falls. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Miranda leads off first with two down to the inning. Hit to second, and this should do it. And that'll do it. Well, a big win by eight runs, and when you have that kind of lead, you make it easier for the pitching staff to come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead. So nice job today all the way around to get the W. 8 nothing.
nothing is how this one ends for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. <laughs>